It is days after the NSAS protest took a frightening turn, and Nigerians are still counting their losses and living on the edge. And while issues of police brutality raised by protesters were justified, things completely got out of hand when hoodlums decided to take an interest in the protests and take matters further. Men of the Nigerian police who found themselves in the eye of the storm now live in the shadows in the aftermath of the protest for fear of being mobbed or attacked. 22 police officers lost their lives as a result of the ugly incident and 205 police stations were burnt to the ground. These unfortunate events appear to have dampened the morale of many policemen and forced others to abandon their civic responsibilities of protecting lives and properties. And the after effects are already being felt. Crime is on the rise and those duty bound to enforce the law are turning a blind eye. In the wake of the destruction of the police stations, many criminal case files being worked on were destroyed and criminals let onto the streets. Well, a very volatile area. That's the most concerned. This the civil society group is concerned and condemns the direct police attack on the Nigerian police as an institution, calling for a ramping up of efforts to strengthen internal security. We condemn in totality the killing of numerous policemen, burning down of over 200 police stations across the country, cutting away of their firearms, burning of police vehicles, and vandalism of facilities that provides employment opportunities for the erring unemployed youth. It also appeals to police officers to return to duty as their staying away may negatively impact efforts to stem the tide of rising insecurity and violent crimes in the country. Government should equally ensure a total reformation of the police sector and condemn in totality gruesome killing of our police officers. As such, we appeal to the officers of the Nigerian police to resume their duty fully in the interest of national security. There is at this point a need to commence renovation of police stations that were affected so that officers displaced can have a place to work from and ensure that police officers are well equipped to fight crimes. The group is hoping the federal and state governments will rise to the task of assisting the Nigerian police in restoring the confidence citizens have in it as a law enforcement institution. TJ Swadiri, TVC News, Abuja.